I'm Jackie Wyrock, and this is another episode of You and Your Health. Um, today's guest is a little different from what we've done in the past. We've had uh, different practitioners of different healing modalities come onto the show and talk about how to uh, more uh, aggressively as an individual pursue wellness um, rather than just relying on the medical community what can we as individuals pursue for our own wellness and our first guest was Wendy Haley who um, here in Montpelier Vermont has a uh, practice called Lucid Path Wellness and our guest today, Irene Mays, has been seeing Wendy for some time. So yes. welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Thank this you for coming and great. joining us and telling Absolutely. us about your experiences. So I'm happy to. Yesterday was just a complete Right. Like what did you say to me when I, I walked in? I, I said, you're the interview lady. <laughs> <laughs> and it was really interesting because Wendy and I were talking after my second session and I had just said to Wendy how do we there should be a line around the block <laughs> how do we how do you get the word out how do you you know and um, that's what we were saying when when I walked into the waiting area and and we said, wow, that's really neat. You're, you're the interview lady. <laughs> I just saw you. On, and, um, and here we are today, which is pretty. So you came up from New York. Yes, yes. Where in New York? Um, I live with my family in Westchester, about half an hour outside of Manhattan. Um, we live right on the Hudson River. It's a really pretty place called Irvington. Uh, and you come up often. And I come up whenever I can get here and yes as more and I plan to come up more often <laughs> and not only yourself but I bring my son whenever he's, possible he's 13 and he benefits from this enormously uh, I was so excited to find out about the energy genesis and actually this was uh, our my first experience in the energy genesis having come up a few times before to um, it, it, there was an earlier prototype, and they've been developed. It's been continued development, and this was in my my first experience. And it's wonderful. It's not com it's not completely different. It's it is. I guess some people would say it is, but it's since I had the previous experiences, it was well, very comfortable. What was the name of the previous uh, life? The life vessel, and it was smaller. Okay. It was a, just a different construction, uh, similar. It's. Energy medicine, very similar um, light, sound, vibration, resonance. Uh, but it, there was a uh, the the person who invented the technology uh, or communicated the technology had a, a, a different structure in mind okay. to better uh, help deliver that, that energy to our bodies. And uh, so I was so excited to, to try it. I, I couldn't get here fast enough when I found out that Wendy had her new, her new uh, machine. I said, Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you find out about her? I mean, it's... I watched a, um, a video. Uh, my son and I had a big change in our health. It, it, it happened very, almost simultaneously. Um, we what happened? We were both... Uh, we, we found, we discovered through this process, through the learning process um, over the last three and a half years, that we have, we were born with a hereditary genetic um, condition called primary immune deficiency. And what that means if you are in general good health, and the way I understand genetics is it's not necessarily a promise of health or disease or illness, mm -hmm. but uh, impacted greatly by your environment, your, di your diet, your you know your stress levels and so many things go into it and um, I, I've grown to learn more about that my mother had this and apparently it's transmitted it carried by the mother it's an X chromosome thing and carried by mom and um, it made started to make sense as we learned more you know of the, of our whole history became better understood you know the family history as well and I had um, so primary immune met um, some very challenging infections. My son and I both got Lyme disease. Wow. And 
we were we became part of that group of people that don't necessarily heal well from Lyme disease. Now I had it before. I, I apparently was infected with Lyme disease and was carrying it and it manifested as arthritis and headaches and some, some things that I think we now better understand to look at Lyme disease, but this was years back and we believed it was rheumatoid arthritis. Okay. And it was triggering autoimmune um, responses. But I took uh, steroids for an IV, a poison ivy infection. And my daughter and I, she's older, uh, were doing some yard work. She got the same, she had the same exposure I did. Right. And healed very well from the poison ivy. And I just got worse and worse and worse. And it became actually like this dangerous poison ivy infection, which, you know, and I'm thinking, I'm very much a, oh, really? You know, come on. <laughs> it's good. We have a life to live here, folks. Let's go, you know. And um, there was no ignoring how it was spreading and in my blood and so I went to um, a, a doctor I ended up in in the emergency room and they said okay we're gonna we're gonna put you on steroids and I I was very fortunately I had been working with a doctor who practices functional medicine and what's functional our, medicine so functional medicine is getting at the root cause of what so it's so the full picture uh, for me at the time uh, and still is, is a great Western medical doctor who practices medicine. So you, that's what they did, they're practicing medicine, right. but they're not necessarily getting at the root cause. Right. We're not talking about nutrition, we're not. So um, Dr. Susan Blum was my doctor, still is my doctor, and she is a medical doctor, so she can treat your acute, your symptoms and, and whatnot, and, but it's a, you work with her and partner with functional medical practitioners to okay. get to the root cause of what is, you know, what's triggering these this disease or the symptoms. So um, she said, okay, I can see why you need to be on steroids. This is serious, but um, but you, it's not good for you because you have something, we're, we're, we had been working together to understand right. what my immune system issues. And, um, she said, okay, you know, I don't like this 30 days on steroids. This, this is not going to work for you because it will turn, kind of turn off your immune system and you can't do that. It might not reboot. So you can't, we, we, we know enough after working together to understand that steroids are not a good solution for you right Holy now. Cow. And she really helped, I mean, I don't, I shudder to think what would have happened <laughs> if she had not intervened yeah. and helped not interview. I asked for her help and she spoke to my medical, the other medical doctors. And so they, she came up with a plan for a few days on, a few days off, closely monitored. Uh, and then a month later I had a stroke because during that time, the Lyme infection, just on those couple of days on, couple of days off, my immune system was, it, the steroids act as your immune system, so my immune system wasn't working on its own. And during that time, the Lyme infection that um, I had been experiencing its arthritis and got into my um, spinal cord and my brain and it caused inflammation Wow! to the point where I had blood circulation limitation in my brain and I came home from work one day and fell on the floor and my son called uh, 911. He was almost 11 at the time. And Must have scared was, the bejesus out of him. It them. surely did and has stayed with him, he is an amazing kid. I've got two amazing kids, <laughs> and he was—he's really good in situations like that. He become—he became very clear, you know, and didn't panic and called the ambulance, and and then it became the beginning of a new journey. So where before we were work, I was working to understand, you know, what my bio terrain was because everybody's different. Um, but that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. That's a, there's a lot. And then my son, simultaneously, also having had Lyme disease, which we didn't know. And his joints were degenerating. At, at 11, he was told he needed a new hip. Holy he developed, cow. Yeah, it was pretty serious stuff. Um, developed uh, chronic autoimmune encephalitis. So we both had the joint degeneration. We both had um, autoimmune markers. We, and then we, they found the Lyme disease in my spinal fluid, but it wasn't just that. It was it was the par a very big part of the picture, but the big picture was why aren't you healing? 
Right. Because you're so, and then the answer was because you have other things going on, and now it's multi-system, and you have, and you, you're, and, and you know, it's funny. It's a strange silver lining, but I am grateful that we went through this together because I know what my son is going through, and I can advocate and help him with school and doc and I. He's not just describing what he's experiencing physically, emotionally, cognitive. Like I understand. Right. I really understand You're experientially. It, yeah. Exactly. So I feel like I'm better able to. Uh, it's important to me that he feels understood. That he doesn't sure. have to constantly explain and you know explain this because on a good day you want to live your life fully, and you want to shine as brightly as you can and that's something we that's really important to us you know don't hold back on your good days you know you don't want to run yourself into the ground but live you know if you feel you know sometimes i need a cane sometimes i don't and when i get out of the energy genesis i don't so <laughs> let's so. talk about that so you were experiencing all of a lot that. of distress yes and then you came across a video then so there i was looking at all of that all of these various uh, the immune system issues were at the core, and I found a great uh, series of um, interviews. Um, and this one interview uh, with Barry McNew, the, the person who founded, the, uh, invented the energy genesis technology or brought it into the light, and um, he was talking about it. And the first thing that struck me was his authenticity. He was phenomenal he was just so you know that feeling when you get when you when you look at somebody and you say wow this is I want to listen to what this person has to say he doesn't he, he seems like someone who has something important to say and is just putting it out there and and hoping that it helps people and um, and, and then he said the body does not know the, the body does not know disease by name and that, at the time, given all of the various multi-system mole type issues that my son and I were uh, trying to, to manage, uh, that really resonated with me because at the heart of it, it seemed like what we're really talking about is a body out of balance with many different manifestations happening, you know, and um, I liked understanding the science and um, I had great medical doctors and great functional medical practitioner, but there was this man saying that there is an energy medicine or modality that doesn't really care what you have. <laughs> it, you can be perfectly healthy. You want to stay that way? This is for you. This, if you want to feel better, I mean, who doesn't have stress? Who doesn't need to detox? Right now, given where, you know, everybody does. So I'm looking at this this modality and thinking this helps everybody from health, like excellent health to serious illness. You know, this it can't hurt. It doesn't conflict with medical treatments. It so uh, immediately and, and I studied many things and I researched many things. And my husband teach, you know, he teases me about my binders and um, <laughs> you know, like I've got them all. You know, like okay, now we'll go to you know this binder and. and uh, this was different. This was, I got right on my computer and re started researching, you know, are these, it wasn't a sales thing, so he wasn't saying, you can find these. But, right. You know, he was talking about energy medicine and what, what he had, you know, was bringing out there. And um, I found out that there were maybe four or five machines in the country, maybe one or two in Europe, and that the closest one to me in New York was here in Vermont. And so, uh, how long ago was that? About two years ago. I okay. would say two years. And um, that was so exciting because I would have gone to the moon for this. I mean, I just had that feeling. And it's not that I hadn't tried many things and they hadn't, they were, were, some things were helpful, some things were not helpful right now, some things were, you know, it's, but this had, I had a different feeling about this. And it was funny because I talked to, I had three locations, three phone numbers. Mm -hmm made a couple of calls, was on the phone with Wendy. I'm going to say, oh boy, I sent her an email to her. We were connected within 24 hours. I had three, my, my, my three sessions and my son's three sessions on the books and we were buying our Amtrak tickets. And I was just so happy that that was working. And, um, and it just felt 
it, well, first of all, Wendy, you, you know what, so she feels like an old friend immediately. And I spoke on the phone with Wendy and instantly felt like, felt very comfortable. I felt no pressure. I felt like, give me your questions and I will, you know, I will give you whatever information I have. I told her I saw the same, you know, I told her about the interview. She said, I saw the same interview, got on a plane. And so I said, oh, okay, so you had the same, hmm, wow, kind of response to this. And so that felt good. That felt very promising. Absolutely. And, and, uh, and, and, so, and the comfort with Wendy. And I loved the idea of a seven hour train ride, to be honest with you, because you decompress on a seven hour, you get books, and you read, and you can't putter around. <laughs> There's nothing you have to do nothing. when you're on the train. Exactly. Just relax. Exactly. So, uh, and my son is great with that stuff too. So we we uh, we came up, and um, and then my husband joined us at another time, and he's, his health is good, except that he's completely exhausted from helping his wife and his son <laughs> and working. And, Caregivers and, have yes, a hard time. Exactly. And nobody really recognizes that. It's without question. He was already in a caregiving role. He and his siblings with his parents, and then that went straight into my son and I getting, you know, it wasn't, we had something that it was developing over time, but, um, but this is, that was really when it all kind of hit the wall. And so we went, so he came up and he got in the energy genesis, well, the, the, the energy genesis um, technology as well. And he just felt, he went from feeling, helped him with stress and anxiety and just that feeling of overwhelm. That was the thing that he um, said that he felt after he got out of the end. He said, you know, my feeling of overwhelm, which he does actively try to manage with taking time out and breathing and trying to take care of himself. You know, he's aware of it, and yet it doesn't, it, he, has, he has to be very vigilant right. about it. And he said, you know, I didn't have to do anything. I got out of the machine and I felt... Oh, we have just overall sense of well-being, less, less stress. And then he felt the detox stuff. And this is not a sick person. You know, right. He felt it. He felt it in his body and in, in his joints. And he said, okay, what was that again about having to drink a lot of water? Now I understand why, you know. Because <laughs> he was thinking, I mean, what could this really be doing? And he's right. a musician. He's a professional musician. He does a lot of recording and studio work. And he understands resonance and hurts, and I mean, much better than I do. And and um, sound technology, he, he was very interested in that. And um, he understood, you know, okay, I could get that water. All of us, everybody drink your water, you know, <laughs> because he really got that you, we were actively detoxing for, and it just didn't, given all of the intense modalities that we had, got, you know, from Western medicine to everything else, nothing was this non-invasive, relaxing and easy, and yet, as powerful well. yeah and it was I was afraid to get hopes up too high I didn't want my son to to get you know but I did I did promise him this is a no-brainer you know you can just lie you can fall asleep you can don't worry about it you know just lie there and it'll do its magic it'll work its magic whether you, you know, get what's happening or not and so that was two years ago yes. now Fast forward to today, can yes. you tell our audience the difference in the symptoms yes. and how your body and your son's body is yes. today? It is, um, it's actually a little, I get a little <laughs> choked up because it was, um, you know, I went in for the overall, you know, that that's what really, and I had so many things going on, pain in joints. and really uh, bad headaches and just a feeling of being sick, of being, and um, so I... Was it all the time, every all the day? Time, all the time, and to some degree, every day, and, and learning very much nutritionally, and take, I had a pick line in my heart, a, a, a daily IV, um, wow. that for almost a year, and so the toxic buildup, and, and then I need, this medication helped me enormously. It crossed the blood-brain barrier and killed a lot of the infections that were causing a very intense state of paralysis. My left side was paralyzed wow. after the, the stroke and the infections then continued. So I was in pretty bad shape. And um, so the medicine helped. And 
it got me to the point where I was I was mobile. But I walked out of the the energy genesis for the first time and felt. I let, I, this is the word I use. Sturdy. I felt stronger immediately. Strong, I felt balanced. I felt like I can stand and not worry that my legs are going to buckle. Um, and when he said, "That's great. Don't fall," <laughs> you know, and she's she gets it. She believes. She's a true believer. I didn't have to. I walked out of there, and then and I felt this moving around, and I felt like all the areas were that need work were getting what they needed. And she's going, "That's right," you know, and I'm right like a loon because I'm so excited. <laughs> and, um, and then after my second session, one of my biggest things at the time, and believe it or not, I know this, sounds, this might sound a little nutty, but this was not my most worrisome symptom, but I was going blind in my right eye because of the uh, triggered autoimmune responses. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of people talk about autoimmune disease being triggered by infection, and that's one of the strong connections, and it doesn't necessarily need to be Lyme disease, or, but once those infections are triggered and um, they're in your brain, then they can trigger all of these you know, autoimmune issues, one of mine was that my ocular nerve was so inflamed and pressing on my right eye that I was losing my vision in my right eye. And wow. I was down to maybe 80 plus percent vision loss. And a lot of, I was really only seeing light and shadow out of my right eye and my legs were impacted. And so the, the balance issues that came with that. And I was very, I was, I was kind of like, I don't want the patch yet. I don't want, you know, to get, I didn't want to go there yet. I was not, accept, I didn't jump on the, okay, this is my new reality. Right. But I didn't want to be foolish either, you know. I didn't want to hurt myself falling. And I walked out of there and walked into the waiting area and I could see, uh, it was not light and shadows anymore. I could see, I was a little blurry because my eye had been, you know, my vision had been so constricted for so long. And I said, well, I, I can see you. And she goes, you couldn't see me before. <laughs> you know? I said, no, well, I, I could out of this eye, but my right eye, you know, I can see you out of both eyes now. And, um, and she That's said, That's miraculous. wonderful. And it has, that was it. And I was told in no uncertain terms that this was going in one direction. This was not going to be, you know, and it was said in a very kind way. And, and this, the person telling me this was a medical doctor who said, this is my, this, given what I have to treat you, this is the way this goes. And I couldn't take steroids, which is an MS treatment. So we knew that wasn't going to happen. Yeah. So this, so given that I couldn't take the steroids to offset because of the infection issues, and um, I got my vision back in my right eye and the pain, it felt like there was a very intense pressure over my right eye all the time. So so not only was I about to lose my vision, but the pain wasn't going to go away. But unless it did. I had it, oh, it, vision back After pain the gone. second treatment. Okay, so Never. you did a third treatment. I did. And what was? And that, and from that point, I had enormous, my energy um, was so, just so much better. My ability to walk without the cane, which I do whenever possible. But that, I have a pretty high, um, conservative threshold for not using my cane because I don't want to fall. I don't want, I find, I originally found myself feeling all sorts of peppy and then I would get somewhere and then be there without my support. But that, that ability to have confidence that I could walk without my cane and get around and safely was increased dramatically and has incrementally increased with each time I've come back. How many times have you come back? This was my fourth visit. Wow. Yeah, and it's and it's funny. I, my son um, and I. I mean, we've he's he got in there. You know, he did the same. And and he's in school. He goes into school for partial day, so he can He's not able to attend a full day in school. And and um, and this helped him with his circulation. One of the problems with his um, with his hip arth. He is advanced bone on bone arthritis from his immune system not working and in combination with these infections and it ate away at his joints and his cartilage and um, it was really remarkable so we went back to hospital special surgery who where his his doctor is his hip surgeon or pediatric orthopedic surgeon um, 
Dr. Sink looked at his MRIs and said, this kid should be, this MRI, the kid that goes with this MRI is not walking around like this. He was very surprised to see any regeneration, any improved in circulation. It, it's just not the kind of energy they practice. So it was really. That's a, an amazing, miraculous story. And when my health is perfect, I will keep coming back. That's <laughs> even more of it's, a it's statement. for everybody, really. And I mean that, I could not mean that more sincerely. This is, if you're healthy and want to stay that way, you know. That's awesome. It's well, wonderful. thank you oh, so thank you. much for I'm coming on and telling you. our audience about the wonderful success. And thank you so much for having me. Our little town of Montpelier has this right here, <laughs> down the road on State Street, Lucid Path Wellness. And Wendy Haley is available to help with people who have illness or who people who are well and want to stay well. It's a miraculous treatment that not many people know about. Um, when I talked to her yesterday, I think there are six of these units available in the United States, none in the South, and we have one right here in Montpelier. So um, after the program, we'll have more information listed for you to contact her to be more proactive about keeping you and your loved ones healthy. Thanks for visiting with us. Namaste.